I'm Ian Smith, producer, and I'm here in Espino at this wonderful festival. Okay, thank you. So, tell me about the perilous life. <laughs> what is this? The perilous life. Perilous life. Well, peril is danger. And um, most people think producers have an easy life. And uh, the truth is actually very different in that um, to do our job properly, we have to take risks and we have to be clever in taking risks. Um, that's not just creative risks, but also commercial risks. So uh, art and money. Do you bet a lot? Oh, every day. <laughs> every day there's an element of, of betting and making an assessment of the future. Being able to forecast trends is very important, not just in a big way, but in a small way. When you're working with crew and with creative people and actors particularly, you have to understand what is not immediately obvious um, in order to be able to avoid problems uh, further down. So in that sense, betting is my life. <laughs> Who do you like to work with? Creative people are uh, the ones that follow the, the orders. <laughs> I, I love working with highly creative people, but I also love working with crew and people who are very method methodological and um, are very well organized and professional. But uh, nothing happens unless there's creativity and innovation at the heart. Um, and so sometimes that can be very difficult because often creative people of a high velocity are difficult in terms of normality, they're difficult. But they are pursuing an outcome that very few of us, including me, really understand what it is that they are pursuing. So it's a, in that sense, I love working with those kind of people. No, I, I, I get angry all, all the time, but I don't show it uh, okay. because it's destructive. Occasionally, I will be obviously angry, but it's very much a matter of trying to avoid damage so that you can get round situations in as healthy and, and as constructive a way as possible. Uh, what are you going to say? What am I going to what? To say to, to all the, the What am I going to say? Well, that would be giving away the secrets <laughs> of my visit. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk about the, really what, why a producer is important and why there needs to be producing. It can't just be creative inspiration. There also has to be the soldier aspect to, to making films and television. And it needs to be done within money and time and it has to be done to a high standard. So it's, uh, keeping the high standard involves contact with everything from agents to unions to, you know, so it's a, it's, it's a very multifaceted job and it, it needs, you either have it in you or, or you don't. Most people don't. But I, I discovered in a, at a young time in my life that I wanted to protect creative people. That was my first entry into producing. Because I have a very systemic mind, I can think clearly. If we do this, then this will happen. We can avoid that. It's all about planning and making sure that the object of the exercise is maintained, which is to make a great movie. Uh, of all your words, what was the most that you planned? Afraid, but in the end, you said, No, oh, this is a dream. Um, they, know that they all probably are. <laughs> there must be one. Then. Well, I mean, they, I have to say, every single one is not only a challenge in every sense, but also uh, always a bit of a disappointment. You can never have the perfect movie, you know? but if you get close, then that's good, you know, but it takes many years after to begin to see it as a movie rather than as a catalogue of failures. Um, but I think 
One of the most difficult was a film that we made in, in Calcutta, in India, called City of Joy, where there was a political movement to stop the film. And so we were making the film in the middle of riots and demonstrations. Um, and, and that took a lot of zen, you know, <laughs> to, be, to maintain patience when you really wanted to kill people, you know. Um, and, and I learned a lot from that, I learned a lot. But every film is tough, every film. There's no easy way to make films. So, what do you think of the, fest, the, the festival? Well, I came to Espino, I think it was about five years ago. Uh, I could only come for 24 hours, unfortunately, but I loved the collegiate spirit where everybody was gathering. There was a strong networking sense. And um, when I was invited to come back this year, I was very happy to do that. It has a very good, uh, has a very good reputation. Um, and I think it's, 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 it's going to continue to be a very important festival. And uh, the town of Espino, do you like it? Espino is lovely. I just wish I was on, on vacation, you know, and I, I could stroll along the beach and pick up shells, you know. And say, okay. <laughs> but I look out my hotel hotel window and I say, oh, there's the beach. Oh, I better go, I've got to do it. So it's, it's very busy and it's, and it's also I have to go back, um, unfortunately, again tomorrow. So I'm only here for a flying visit. But I, I love Portugal and, and particularly the north of Portugal. I think it's a really beautiful part of the, of the world. I've been in many times on holiday when my family were young down south in the Algarve, um, which was very nice. But the, the, from Lisbon northwards, I think, is a fascinating part of the world and a fascinating history. Yes. And culture here is very strong. So it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. Maybe you film here. If, if the script needs it, I mean, I look at the, every script and every idea contains the answer to that question. Yeah. <clears throat> and we look at not only what it looks like, but what facilities are available, um, what tax support is available. You know, making that choice is a very difficult thing okay. in your job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you.